it's Katie the Crafty Crab and today I have an unboxing for you. Um, I'm quite excited to do this because I haven't bought one of these for ages. This is the August Craft Box um, and I recently, well I don't know how recent, quite a few months ago I suspended my monthly subscription just because um, I was trying to save a bit of money and um, also was drowning in crafting supplies which is a good thing but um, not when you've got a small place to live so um, I was trying to curb my spending but it was my birthday last month and I saw the preview of this one and I thought I just can't resist um, but saying that I can't quite remember what the theme was it looked really vintagey from memory and um, really good for uh, scrapbooking so um, let's dive in um, and this time I'm doing this completely blind um, Sometimes when I've unboxed Craftbox, I've kind of opened it first um, and then gone in, but um, I will be opening it and seeing it for the first time when you do. So this box is black um, with um, a really nice teal silky, silky ribbon, satiny ribbon, um, or a kind of mermaid green, turquoise, I don't know. Um, it has its magnetic closure and let's get in so you open it and you first of all get your thank you card from Anna and what she seems to have changed about these is it's more of a postcard so um, I think she has stopped with the personal message um, which I'm not surprised because given how many um, of these she produces a month now and, uh, and it gives you a sneak preview of some of the items and also an idea for a mixed media project that you can work on. So then we also have the contents list, which I'll go through. And the first item you see um, is the pre-order. So if you order before a certain date, you get an extra gift in the box. And these are brass bookmarks. So um, if I isolate one of them, there we go. So a uh, really nice bookmark there. Um, and you can obviously decorate that, put a glass uh, capuchon there, so really make something quite unique. So that's great. Um, purple burgundy tissue paper, and what I'll do is to save the tissue paper, I'll just take everything out. Okay, wow. It's just as stacked as I remember. First things first is the Snip Art Irregular background. Oh wow. Um, so let's find that. So um, I know that um, I think Anna has now um, become, uh, the owner Anna has now become a distributor for Snip Art. So she's able to talk to them and they're based in Poland um, and create some really unique pieces for Craftbox. So this one is the Irregular background. Um, and what I like about snip art is that you can literally snip it apart. You can use the whole piece in its entirety. I've seen some people use it as a stencil or even to stamp it. Um, or you can just use pieces and break it off quite easily. So we have that. Then we have some papers. So um, again, from memory, what... Um, Generally, these are are from a Prima collection, and I think these look Prima again. So they're double sided. So we've got I don't know how clear you can see that, but there's a kind of grid and florals, um, kind of vintagey butterflies. Well, that's nice. Polka dots and floral stripes. And then these are single sided but they're textured so um, uh, that's a really nice floral. Um, this one has, um, what do they call it, like a spot varnish um, on some of the stripes. Um, again this one has I think some varnish on some of the gloss bits just to stand that out and this is another textured one and that feels lovely 
it's quite a lace effect. Um, then we have a mini album. Oh wow, yeah, I completely forgot what was in here. Now, now I know why I bought this. Um, I'll take this out. Um, I won't take it out fully, but um, here's the mini album, so really tiny. I'm hoping, I was going to say, I'm hoping there's a ring, but there is one there. Um, and that's great, because you can really do some beautiful things on a really small scale there. Um, and that ring will provide enough depth, I think, to, to be able to do some really dimensional stuff as well. And obviously you don't have to use all of them. Um, there are loads of pages in that. Um, and then a kind of thicker MDF um, cover. That is awesome. I love that. An um, ink pad. So it doesn't say what colour. Um, I would say that is a kind of... Um, I don't know how well the colour will show up, but it's a kind of bronze... Um, terracotta I don't know if that will show it it's like ready brown um, yeah and that says for fabric wood and paper so that's great it's not a colour I have so it's the ink pads and then we have black and white glass cabochons oh yeah these are cool, these are cool. so um, we've got a silhouette of a lady um, an old-fashioned phone uh, some cameras cassettes um, I like this pinky flower one um, yeah it's really good for documenting um, travel holiday um, and I've, I've just realized that the theme is for the record so it really is for scrapbooking this time around more than ever I think um, we have some charms somewhere must be them so we have some lovely resin flowers again I love these blues and this teal and then some crystal charms and um, a little book style charm in silver I really like those crystal ones they're very pretty so there we go um, mulberry flowers it wouldn't be craft box without so we have some really kind of spring colors here we've got some pinks and whites yellows and pale blue um really nice colors very neutral very yeah very spring i think um then a clipboard now um i did really like um i'm just seeing if it was on the project now um, on the facebook group anna did a project with this um, and this is just um a bit of chipboard with a bulldog clip um but yeah i just i liked the, really like the project and i think that's what sold it to me and um, that and the mini album so um that'll be fun to alter then we have seven gypsies journeying cards which i'm guessing are these and again i think she started stocking things from seven gypsies and i a couple of months ago I bought um, some stuff because I'd never heard of them or seen them before. Um, oh, and these are really cute and unique. So um, you have a pocket one here and I guess this could go in uh, with your profile. Um, then we have top secret, special delivery, note to self. Um, and these feel really thick as well and you can um it's perforated there um if you wanted to pull the tag off that says seven gypsies and there's still so much in here it's unbelievable so then we have craft newspaper um i don't know if this will be tissue paper no it's not tissue paper so this is this feels like um, quality paper, um, but obviously it's uh, 
it's just some uh, reprint of a newspaper. So there's, it mentions Miami, Taipei, um, and it just repeats some of the same story. So this is this is obviously all kind of mocked up. Um, but that's really good as well for mixed media and other projects just to add as a background. Um, yeah, love that. Um, oh, I'm really, really pleased I bought this box this month. Um, tissue paper. So I won't take this out. Um, but we've got music notes. Um, I can tell that's the tissue paper. Um, and that's also really good for mixed media. Um, just to add different background images and just a bit of interest. And we have wooden pegs. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pegs, purple and teal. Um, well, more like a lilac. Um, and they're really nice. You could always use them on your clipboard instead of the board or clip or um, decorate them with some embellishment. So then cotton, ribbon and filigree. So we have uh, this beautiful filigree here. And I think I will open to show the ribbon. So what does this say? Oh. <laughs> so it has different things. So it says this love is too sweet um, and then it says what what a lovely little house I can't read the rest of that yeah that's too small for me um, and then winky and happiness that little fun fair so they're very cute we have some opal tiles so these are interesting so I've not seen these before so these look like acrylic um, tiles with glitter and other elements in uh, really interesting shape and there's kind of a gold one and then a black one with gold specks so that's really fun and then wow so then it says a sticker and so <laughs> and this is it this is the whole sticker so Oh, okay. So these are individual stickers, but then I'm guessing you can also probably use the edges and some of these images and snip around. But um, they're really nice. I like those. Really nice vintage. And that is it. So, including the pre order item, you have 16. Um, different bags of goodies but of course um, in some bags there are more um, for instance in the filigree you had the ribbon um, and I think I paid about £22.45 for this um, which I believe covers postage but um, don't hold me to that but I think this is still exceptional value for money um, I'm really sorry that I don't buy it every month but um needs must and all that um but i'm really pleased i treated myself this month because i think this this box is is wonderful so um i'll link below to the craft box craft box website and um, they haven't uh paid me to do this but i just really love these products so much so i wanted to share this unboxing with you so um i will see you next time thanks for watching bye for now